after you, Brits. So excited. Hello, everyone. I know I straightened my hair for you and you. Welcome to the Christmas edition of the Two Brits. And as we promised, we are in our Christmas attire. Uh -huh. We have onesies. And Sam said, that's not Christmas, but it's a reindeer. And the most important part is this. No, stand up. Okay, can I do that? Yeah, you can. Okay, Brad says, Andy says yes. Okay, the most <laughs> important part is my tail. Can you see it? Okay, but what I'm upset about is onesies aren't footy pajamas. No, because those are for babies. But I want footy pajamas. No, because... <laughs> my onesie was purchased by Pam. Pam. Uh, Pam. I think we all, I think we have matching ones, to be honest. Do you? Uh, I think That's so. That's everything. Target sells matching family pajamas. So onesies are like a thing in oh. England and oh. have been since, since I was in college. Like college, college. So, so I had this years ago. one. I had a Where's Waldo one. I had a Fox one that looked like Swiper. Swiper from Dora the Explorer. Do you know that? People, other people, people, children. Well, uh, so I had a Fox one. Uh, I've had a few actually. Onesies are a thing in England. Well, they had they had one that looked like an elf, so it had like striped pants. Yeah. And then the green. And then they had a Rudolph poncho. They had a Grinch one the other week, and I nearly bought it for my friend, and I was like, eh. I just, I was so, I mean, I was like, it was the best it's thing Christmas, that happened guys. to me. guys. Yeah. The best time to wear onesies. I wonder if I should wear this for badminton today. You should. Yeah, I will think I will, because it's cold in the gym. Um, uh, so, yeah, this is our Christmas special show. And? Uh, very special guest later on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys will love it. But we're going to backtrack from Christmas to Thanksgiving, because for our dedicated followers, you'll remember... You want me to take mine down too? Actually, no, yours sits right. I feel like mine okay. just covers me. You got glittery eyeshadow on. I know. So you really went for. Before we go to Thanksgiving, we both straightened our hair today. Uh, but halfway through straightening, my straightener exploded and started smoking. So this will not happen for a while again. Wow. Yeah. So that's what you need for Christmas. But we'll get to that. I'm in probably a just going to buy one. Okay. In a couple of days. So, <laughs> in a couple of days. Um, You'll remember from our last episode that Sam had this really high, haughty platform that she stood on about how terrible American Thanksgiving is. And so, Sam, pray tell, what did you do for Thanksgiving? I went to a Dallas Cowboys game. She went to a Dallas Cowboys game in a suite and ate catered Thanksgiving food, which is the most American thing anyone has ever done. That it is. That it is. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a Cowboys fan. And that's fine. I'm not, no one is. No one's really a Cowboys fan. Saints. I love me some Zeke, and though. And Saints play Cowboys tonight. Oh. oh, I do like Zeke. He's good. Yeah. After every touchdown, people The Ohio State University? Shout, Zeke. That's because he's, he's the like, GOAT. Like, after every goal, I want people to shout, so. <laughs> Well, that's because he scored the that goal, is true. whereas you're just... Which is one thing I didn't do a whole lot of. But yes, I had a very American Thanksgiving. Brittany, how was your Thanksgiving? It was great, but in hindsight, I didn't eat a lot. Really? I didn't. Well, it's just a regular day for me, as you can tell. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> like, this thing's getting tight. I was disappointed at the end of the day on how much I ate, but it was fine. I went places and saw people. Well, that's fun. Uh, what were you thankful for? You know, Jesus and food that I didn't really eat and people and not people. After a day of people, I'm thankful to go home and be alone. Well, see, I was, I was kind of thankful for uh, America. That's why <laughs> well, I tell people all the time, thankful for America. Well, that's why you had I'd the be, most American yeah, Thanksgiving ever. I really ever. did. I've changed. I'm going to backtrack on everything. I said the food wasn't great. The food was not great. Uh, I don't like green bean casserole. Don't like sweet potato casserole. Don't like uh, the stuffing. So what did you like? Let's have the short list. Uh, the apple pie. And that was her other pedestal was, you guys do too much sweet. See, like you that. ate sweet food in a sweet. <laughs> that was, uh, was the, we've got Christmas coming up. Yeah. Right. Uh, Brittany, 
What'd you do for Christmas? I'll go home to the mitten. What's the mitten? Michigan. Oh, okay. Because it looks like a mitten. I go to the land of the England. <laughs> uh, and Christmases are usually fun, but every once in a while you have really bad Christmas presents, right? You always yeah. have that random present that you get every once in a while that you're like, thank you, mm -hmm. thank I love this. Mm -hmm. And then you put it back in its box, you mm -hmm. know, what's the worst Christmas present you've ever had? So I wrote that, right? Uh -huh. Like I came up with that. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, I don't know what the worst gift I've ever gotten is. But I'll say, I feel a lot of pressure to respond appropriately to gifts. Like yeah. when you can tell someone's excited for you to open their yeah, gift, yeah, yeah, like yeah, you have to yeah. be like, oh my God, like this is the best thing I ever got. Thank you so much. Um, so I feel a lot of pressure at Christmas, but this is a funny story. One year we gave my grandma um, frames. I don't know why, who gives frames, but that's what we did. And they didn't have pictures in them. They were just frames. And my grandmother, who was like kind of losing it, looked at them and was so excited. And she's like, do I know these people? <laughs> but it was like the <laughs> background the that comes in the frames. So um, anyway, I guess I don't have a worst Christmas gift, but I want to hear what yours was if you got one. I did, and I've usually had very good Christmas gifts. Yeah. Like at first, I thought you were going to ask what's the best Christmas you've ever had because I can rate that straight away, which okay. we'll talk about that okay. later. Uh, the worst gift I once got a necklace, uh, but it was tarnished, oh. so it was green. And then when I got it, I, I didn't know what. To, I was really bad as a kid. As a kid, I was really bad, and if I didn't like something, I'd go oh. And I just push it to the side. And I used to get wrong about that all the time from my mom. She'd be like, you're so ungrateful. And I'd be like, well, I just, I don't know what to say because I don't like it. And I got a tarnished necklace and I was like, thank you. I'll wear it tomorrow. <laughs> this is what I always wanted was a green necklace. Yes, but. Uh, wow. Vintage, huh? Speaking, we'll go from worst Christmas gifts. And we're going to go to the best Christmas gift that, that we can could. give our viewers. Yes. Okay. Today, guys, we said earlier, we have a very special guest. Okay, we're gonna bless you with it right now. So Merry Christmas to everyone, and watch out because we're about to get a. Okay. Voila! Ta da! Yeah, there we are. So our special guest has arrived, and yeah. as you can see, Santa Claus. It is Santa Claus yeah. himself, oh, well. fearless leader, well, yeah. Doctor Brewer. Thank you. We're so happy much. you're here. We well, feel like we've I've, hit the. I've watched the show that you guys do. How many episodes now? You know, thirty-seven or something. Uh, oh yeah, it was minus thirty. Well, yeah, okay. Minus. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a, I've seen a couple of yeah. them, and um, you probably think, "What are these fools doing?" I'm thinking, uh, evidently, they don't have enough work to do. No, but, we don't. You know, I just uh, I know it's entertaining. Yes, and yeah. I, I know it's inspirational. Yeah, and for you guys, it's probably cathartic. Yes, that she is the that. that is the best is word. It really? it's, a, it's a little kind of how many people know what that word means actually. I was kind of like stress do. Relief. Do, they do. do they? Yeah. See, I thought I was being invited to the Mensa Society Christmas special. <laughs> and I'm not. And how You're disappointed not. is he now? Well, you know. I brought I brought the uh, Christmas carols that are sung at the Mensa Society. You and can I'll, do like I'll a ten you, second. Well, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you the titles and see if you know the titles oh, of these, okay? For instance, for instance, embellish interior passageways. Oh. That what what, what like Christmas carol is that? I don't know, but Deck it sounds like something hey, from Home Depot. Yes! Her one, vertically challenged adolescent percussionist. Little drummer boy. Oh, you two for oh two. Oh, my. Uh, you, better, <laughs> you, better buzz in, you better buzz in quicker. I was talking to you about Christmas carols yesterday. All right, this I don't one's think for you. Caribou ones. with vermilion directory, olfactory appendage. Something to do with eyes. Come on, Rudolph oh, the no. Red Nose. Caribou Red. with vermilion olfactory appendage. You off the red nose reindeer. This is yeah. too yeah. Mensa. Um, I'm, I'll just give you one more then. Let's see. Um, oh, I like this. Oh, she one. knows that one, obviously. You know that Something one? to do with snowflakes. Uh, allow crystalline formations to descend. Let, something to do with snow. Yeah, something to do with snow. Allow it to happen. Let it snow. There you oh! go. And the final Didn't one. Bing Crosby the final sing one. That? Uh, everybody. You know, did. everybody does, yeah. Uh, he, his big one was White Christmas. That, is that true. was his biggie. Bipedal traveling through an amazing acreage during the period between December 21 and March 21 in the Northern <laughs> Hemisphere. That's a long song title. Bipedal traveling. Is that something to do with center in his sleigh? Center? No, maybe not. Through is an amazing March? acreage. Yeah. Walking 
in Thir- the winter yeah, yeah, wonderland. wonderland. Got it. Winter Thank solstice, you. December 21st. There you go. Got it. March you know, you're meant some material. Brittany's very small. You're meant some Brittany material. Meant some material. <laughs> I have so Brittany much useless knowledge. It's not useless now. Oh, sure. No, very <laughs> good. You've got some new Christmas yeah. titles, yeah. Carol. So. I've learned a lot today. But we're going to tell you the truth. We started this show because we thought, what can we do outside of recruiting mm. to help drive enrollment? Driving enrollment. And we well, thought, I'm this, is it. this is it. This is it. This is it. That's slightly self-absorbent that we think we can drive enrollment. No, I think it's confidence. We talked okay. to our athletes about confidence. That's there true, right? That is well, true. Well, so we anyway. are. We are. Okay. We're so, excited about enrollment. We're excited yeah. about the athletic enrollment. Yeah. And well, the true. programs you guys coaches are doing trying. very well. Yeah. Thank trying. you. Yep. Thank you. So we want to know how your Thanksgiving was. It was great. Uh, we had a chance. Kathy and I went back to the Carolinas mm. and uh, back to where I um, spent most of my life. And we spent the week with both our sons and their wives and our three grandchildren and her parents and my parents. And we were all together in one mm. place under one roof for several days and, and still love each other. Good. So, nice. you know, it was good. So, food food was whole great. Whole yeah. Time was good. Yeah. And uh, just to be able to hold my two and a half year old granddaughter mm. and, and to hear her tell me, I love you, Pops. That's, oh. that's it right there. That's, that's yeah. Thanksgiving. Was yeah. it warm or cold? Uh, it was warmer there in Charleston yeah? than here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. We're walking around in a spring like wonderland. Yes. <laughs> and uh, what Got to go to the your... beach, too. You did? Got to spend some time at the beach. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Beach at Christmas. Yeah. Oh, it's well, awesome. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. It's awesome. Yeah. It's good anytime. Yeah. yeah. For me, it is. Um, do you have special Christmas plans? Will you go back there for Christmas? Uh, we're probably going to spend a little time in Tennessee, okay. in Nashville, mm-hmm. where uh, the, even though our son was there, our older son who lives there, we're going to go up there and spend a few days in okay. Nashville. We enjoy the music up there yeah. and the sights and sound. Nashville is a beautiful town at Christmas. Mm-hmm. A lot of cool things happen mm-hmm. there. Nice, but, nice. Well, yeah. no one's in Pineville for Christmas out of Oak Street. No. Well, it's beautiful here, too. It you is. know, the big Alexandria thing this weekend. Winter Fet's yeah. huge. We should have had go that on that. the list. Oh, yeah, well, Winter Fet's the, happening. There's a lot of concerts mm-hmm. and a lot of events going yeah. on. We have a big concert this weekend. You mm-hmm. know, Friday night's our own choirs and groups. Mm-hmm. Christmas on the Hill in this building. And then Sunday afternoon, our choir's performing with the local symphony oh. at 2.30 in the new Gwen Auditorium. Mm-hmm. New Gwen Auditorium. If and when is, up, um, you know... Gala, gala. How do you say that's it? That's Saturday gala. gala. I think it's the gala. gala. That's a big event now. Okay. That's huge. That's students only. Students, yeah. Okay. It's got awards and all that stuff, right? They do that, yeah. Because they, people get nominated. Right. I think there's yeah. a talent Coach, portion. Faculty, mm-hmm. Yeah. They sing. They dress and, up. They sing and have stuff. fun. In great, onesies. Great time. Yeah. I don't know about onesies. <laughs> yeah. but like up, up. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. I'm, I'm new. I'm, this is new to me. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. Um, we don't. Okay, we so don't talk about these at the Mensa Society. But <laughs> well. This I'll is may something that will be coming on yes. the schedule. May bring it up. Yes. Um, so as far as campus goes, as LC goes, uh, it's a college, what yeah. are you most proud of that has been accomplished in 2018? Hmm. This past year, it's uh, been a lot. Um, continuation of enrollment uh, growth that we've experienced and uh, the spirit of the campus. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there's a lot of... Uh, uh, of excitement about who we are, where we are in the future. Yep. Um, we've added a few academic programs mm-hmm. that are taking, doing well, that have got off to a great start. But to watch our students mature, flourish, mm-hmm. whether it's on the, in the classroom or on the courts of competition, the fields of competition is exciting to me. Yep. Uh, just a great attitude, I think, on our, our campus. And uh, I said, you know, my privilege and honor to be a steward leader and try to help each day. You know, I come to work every day and just ask myself this question. It kind of drives me. What can I attempt to do today that will only happen if God does it? Mm. And I think if you, we can learn to live that way in our lives, that's really where faith is all about. Yeah. There's so much we can do mentally and with the gifts and strengths that we've been given, but we've got to leave space for the Lord to work. And that's when it, it goes to a place that we, um, we can't do without him. Mm-hmm. So I'm grateful to watch and see that happen on our campus. I think in 2018 we've definitely become more visible. Uh-huh. I think like going from when at least I remember my first year here, 2015, and I'd go out on the road and mm-hmm. people wouldn't know what Louisiana College was. Yeah. And now I'm getting emails saying, "Hey, it was nice to see you at this place. I, my family went to Louisiana great. College. Mm-hmm. And I was in Dallas, and I have someone who." Uh, whose dad, when I was at a camp, was like, "Yeah, I used to go to Louisiana College back yeah. in the day." Mm. Yeah. Well, they find it, it's been the best kept secret, but you don't want to be the best kept secret. No, no, we want to be the best and, known uh, That's place. right, that's right. And we're finding as we go out, as uh, we speak in churches, speak in schools, 
And as you go out and recruit, you find that, that it resonates with people. Mm -hmm. Because people are looking for a place where it's safe, where it's going to get a great education, where there's a concern for that person's personal growth, not just academic growth, mm -hmm. although it's important. And I think they're looking for a place where you're going to get attention. And it's like the old, the old TV show. Everybody, you know, everybody wants to know your name. Yeah. And uh, I think here's a place where people know your name. Mm -hmm. So speaking of accomplishments, mm -hmm. oh, cool. and safety. Yes. <laughs> Great segue. Yeah. Great segue. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the, the what? The wall? The, the gate? The gate. Not the wall. Right. That's, that's, that's down the other on way. the southern coast. The other way. We're not far though. <laughs> <laughs> not building no walls. No, the gate. The gate. Well, yeah. Um, we're, uh, that's been helpful to the campus yes. in many ways. It that is. Um, I, I watched how it has changed the driving and traffic pattern mm -hmm. because before there was a lot of unnecessary traffic on campus that was a safety issue. Mm -hmm. um, I observed two or three occasions where students as well as myself were almost hit by buses or cars. And as I began to think about that, my job is to anticipate things mm -hmm. and anticipate and how can you make a decision and how can you do something that would mitigate and uh, pro you know, further um, provide safety? And so you know, we've been thinking about this for a couple of years and our board approved the idea. Mm -hmm. I met with the city officials, even though the streets are ours, we own the streets, they're not state streets, mm -hmm. it's the college's streets, that it's our property to do as we believe we can do it. I mean, of course, it doesn't always stay closed, right. but um, I think it's helped to cut down and it's also preserving our streets for a longer period of time. Mm -hmm. Now our long range goal is to eventually remove all the streets or the road, I guess the paved areas from going around the circle and one day it'd be all a natural gra green oh, area. Okay. That's what we'd like to see eventually. We could do picnic at mm -hmm. the park. We That's could. right. We could. Yeah, you, still have a, you still have a trail for walking or mm -hmm. biking or whatever. But and would it be a two-way road to get round or? Of around that, you wouldn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, wouldn't, you wouldn't use it at all for a oh, road. Okay, it wouldn't so be there'd be separate all. parking mm -hmm. and we walk yeah. on the campus. You move all the parking to the exterior of the campus, which most of it is now yes, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that's just some of the things we're looking at mm -hmm. uh, moving in the future. Uh, oh, in, well, I do yeah. want to say I think the gate has brought us great content. It has? Oh, yeah. I do, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I do love uh, watching people drive up to it. It still happens. Yes. Uh -huh. So you can tell that people who don't come here much yes. and they're just trying to take a shortcut or ways or Google Maps hasn't picked up on it yet. <laughs> right, right. Google, we need to write to Google we Maps can. and go. Big gate there. There is yeah. a gate. There's right? a gate. No there through rules. And it, sometimes it's open, sometimes it isn't. Yeah. No, I love it's a fun the, game. I love the one one day I, I watched a person come up to the gate and blow their horn repeatedly. Oh, we've seen As people. if someone was there going to open it. <laughs> right. Just, just but, uh, and I love some of the tweets. I, I don't yes. respond yeah, yeah, to those yeah, yeah. often, but uh, one particular student who tweeted that they were pleased that the, that the gate had diverted the tornado. Yes. Yeah, the tornado. Yeah. That's, you know, and I think that was amazing by mm. one of our students to yeah. think that. Yeah. Um, but you gotta have a sense of humor, but that's <laughs> yeah. the thing. And, yes. well, and as yeah, president, sometimes you gotta make decisions that oh, yeah. aren't popular, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, and you know, well, you just move on and. Didn't your mom do, do some things when you were growing up that you didn't want to take oh, certain medicine and things? she still does it now. You know what I'm saying? See, mm -hmm. why is she doing that? She sent me to America. Well, there <laughs> you go, because she loves you? Yeah. See there? Yeah. I love our students so much, yeah. I don't want anybody to run yes. over by a bus or a car. Is that okay? I, I love the gate. I love it. It's, okay. it's, it's been great content for us. We may name it after you then. Oh, please. We need a contest. Can we, just can we call need it? a naming contest. Yeah, let's do it. You know? Yes. Naming sponsored, contest. Naming contest. Sponsored by sponsored the two by Brits. Sponsored by somebody. Yeah. By the, the two, two Brits. Brits. Okay. Oh, you were hoping someone with actual money. No, oh, we oh, an actual we, sponsorship. We, we oh, put money uh, if that's too yeah. bad. <laughs> You're two for two on those today. <laughs> Advertising placards on it yes. for like a thousand bucks is the best. Well, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking one of you would wear one of those frames and walk around, mm. you know, through the day. Like I'll you be see, a sign spinner. You know, the people you see on the street promoting uh, different uh, tax service, mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. dress up and. I'll you could dress up as a Statue of Liberty. I'd guarantee your acceptance no, I think the in the wild country. Cat. I think we oh, the wild have cat. the wildcat. Sure, that's cat. Uh, Don't you think that? I'm dying. Don't you think that, Jeff? I'm dying what, to be the wildcat. What do you think? I'd love to be the wildcat. Brad, you good with that? The wildcat be out there at the gate? I'll be a sign spinner that says, go this way. A wrong way. <laughs> Do not enter. <laughs> Blow the horn 17 times yeah, and we yeah, may yeah, open yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, thanks for your show, though. Yeah, well, we, we have one more question okay. to ask. Right. Two more. Well, well, two two more. Okay. Do you have a question? No, I'm going on to uh, what we're looking forward to in 2019. 2019. Oh. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. 
I was thinking the green space. Is that too soon? That's, that's too, too soon. soon. Okay. Yeah, that's, that, that's a lot of money okay. between now and that. We've got other priorities we need to take care of before sure. that. Well, we're, we're uh, looking at uh, some plans to do some more renovation and work in our residence halls, which is nice. really needed. And so we have a plan in place that we're working with our board on and hopefully, well, in fact, when I finish this, this, this major recording session, uh, I have a meeting with the architect and, Ooh, an architect. and, and engineers. And engineers, this is <laughs> so serious. Are they all well, married? Oh uh, God. <laughs> See, uh, second time today. Possibly, I, I'm not possibly. sure. You need me to ask. <laughs> They're older than me. That's not top of your list. <laughs> well, you so, know, you know. But we'll just looking, finish. looking forward to looking forward to our students continuing to do well and yeah. uh, still studying some other new academic programs that um, mm -hmm. we're not ready to announce because we're not um, quite having them there. But you know, I'm really yeah. excited about. The, our master's in social work program, which we mm -hmm. launched a couple years ago, mm -hmm. will graduate its first class, and that's a that's a major accomplishment yeah. for the school. Yeah. The way that whole thing happened with the external funding we were able to get to help us start it, it wouldn't have happened without that. Right. Um, we've had some major gifts here of late mm -hmm. that have been a tremendous blessing to the institution, and we're looking forward to hopefully more of those. You know, nice. as we move into 20, mm -hmm. 2019. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but uh, we are now in a phase of updating our strategic plan for 2019 to 2022. Okay. So we'll have more to say in a future episode. Okay. Yes. About some of those because things. we are anticipating that we can. You're going to do at least do two or three goal. more, aren't you? Well, oh, yeah. well we're going to have to take like a break and then do season two and then a break mm. and then season mm. three. We want to make. Has this it been like picked up by Netflix or somebody? Else? Not yeah. yet. They're really. We're hoping like. We're waiting for something. Yeah, we're hoping someone gives us. A, we're waiting something. for something. So we just don't know what it gives is yet. Us a, gives us yeah. a call. Well, you're on YouTube, right? Yes. Yeah, but, but people, we're, we're most views are on Facebook. Yes. Of course. Well, That's Facebook, where we get yeah, the, the absolutely. 2000. Um, absolutely. Do you have a would you rather question? I do. Okay, go ahead. Both of you guys. Uh, would you rather have to spend your whole Christmas wrapping presents in the mall or taking pictures of kids with Santa? Oh, taking photos with kids. Oh, oh yeah, wrapping presents. See? Yes. Okay. Wrapping presents. Yes. No children. Really? No See, right. I like wrapping, but when I go home, I just give all the presents to my sister and uh, I'm like, there you go. Oh, no, I love to wrap. I'll wrap your presents. Of course, it's not ideal. You wouldn't you want to see plane, the hard wrap. <laughs> Are you okay. the just pull all of the wrapping paper together and yeah, put a board around it? Yeah, I just fold it and fold it and fold it and then to make it. And then if what's left over, I fold it underneath. <laughs> yeah. You haven't done that, right? Yeah, of course you have. Um, no, I love children, and so oh. gracious, and to watch the reactions of the parents. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then this, I remember when my grandkids first got their photos of Santa. It's like me when I got my. I remember the photo my mother took of me. You, you're frightened to death. Uh -huh. yeah, I mean, they are. Uh -huh. This big guy man. with all this uh -huh. hair and all this stuff, and they're, going, they're scared to death. Uh -huh. And then you're sitting there, the mama's saying, tell her what you want for Christmas. <laughs> and they're just saying, I just want out of here. Uh, off of his lap, that's what I want. <laughs> and then the off movie, the, the Christmas movie comes back to yeah. mind. You know, yeah. 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 Yes, movie Christmas story, yes. When he was frightened of Santa. Uh -huh. so, have, you, have you watched that movie? Uh, more times than I can. I have Has it made it to England It's my least favorite Christmas movie. I like Elf. Elf's pretty good. Elf's good. I, I watched like... White Christmas the other day. Oh, that's a great. And I like Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. Oh, yeah. oh, and I cry when the original. Uh, no, the old. Because that's black and white. There's an original. Oh, it's great. It, it oh, you got to see the original with Natalie yeah. Wood. Yeah. When she was a youngster, Natalie. Oh, Natalie. I can... Yeah. I was right. Yeah, it's I knew, I knew another old guy like me would know that. <laughs> Natalie Wood. It's okay. a great, and it'll okay. come on uh, Turner Classics, mm -hmm. whatever. Oh, the best one is uh, no that that Miracle on Thrill because that's when uh, the man plays Chris Kringle. Chris Kringle. Oh, yeah. and he was great. He yeah. was great. He, you so would precious. think he was really Santa Claus. <laughs> uh, well, maybe but was. the court determined he was, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. Didn't the, didn't the court did. determine? Oh, we ruined the ending. Great. Oh, I don't have to watch I've it. seen, <laughs> Brittany, I've seen the updated version. Oh, okay. It's the same. That has, uh, what do you call them? Uh, it has Matilda in it, doesn't it? It has Matilda in it. Oh. And Matilda. it has the guy who was in Jurassic Park. Oh. Okay. What's his name, I still Brad? like the original. Yeah. Well. No. Be it, man. Okay. I need to ask my question. Then yes, he has to go meet with important people who mm -hmm. aren't us. Okay. Would you rather, and I might know the answer based on the document you brought with you. <laughs> would you rather lose your voice oh. for the holidays hmm. Or only be able to speak in popular Christmas song lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> I'd do the popular uh, Christmas you song would? lyrics. Yeah. I yeah. think I'd lose my voice. Yeah, I would do that. You would do the popular would, Christmas song so lyrics. Much yeah. Fun. Yeah. Mary, did you it know? It would be, <laughs> which is my favorite Christmas song yeah, of all time. Of course. It would make no sense at all. But anyway, we are so <laughs> thankful and yes, grateful that Dr. Brewer joined us today. And um, I feel like the only way is down from here. Well, can yeah. I leave them with my favorite Christmas card? Absolutely. Yes. Of all time. I'm going to yes. leave this on a real, not that it hasn't been positive. Oh. 
but I mean, you're gonna, I'm gonna, you're take, gonna take it, it up to a, a new level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give this purpose and meaning. Mm, there we go. This, this card, I got it 30, 40 years ago, it was called If We Had Needed. It said, if we had needed knowledge, he would have sent us an educator. If we had needed health, he would have sent us a doctor. If we had needed wisdom, he would have sent us a philosopher. If we had needed harmony, he would have sent us a musician. If we had needed wealth, he would have sent us an economist. If we had needed success, he would have sent us an efficiency expert. But we needed a savior, and so he sent us Jesus. A thousand times in history, a baby has become a king, but only once in history did a king become a baby. I love it. Merry Christmas. I love it. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thank you, sir. Students, thank you. Good luck on your exams. Yeah. Study. Study. Pray. Have a very restful break. Uh, we hope you enjoy time with family and have a fantastic new year. And we will see you next in 2019. Claws up. Claws up. Hey. <laughs>